Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is gonna be a general message for Libra, the cross watcher, um, anybody that was drawn here, anybody paying attention to seventh house. <clears throat> Take what fits, leave what doesn't. And yeah, <laughs> and yeah, these are timeless. So whenever you see it, it doesn't matter how old it is. Um, I had the craziest dream last night. And when I have dreams that feel a certain way, I always feel like it's a collective message. Um, what's weird about it is I actually mentioned a part of the dream that I had a couple days ago on, no, just yesterday. <gasps> back to back. Anyways, <clears throat> somebody else had that dream. Like they were in the dream with me and they actually commented about it. And then um, we've been emailing a little bit to talk about it, <laughs> wild stuff. Well, last night I had another dream where it felt the same. Someone is moving, okay? There's this collective energy of moving. And I was hearing the song, now move, sucker, move, sucker, now dance, sucker, dance, sucker. So, um, and that's exactly how the dreams, like in that order. I don't know if that's how the song, but I'm pretty sure that's the order in the song. I might be wrong but my dreams played out that way. There's movement and then there is um, meeting people. Meeting people. The dream I had last night was phenomenal. Um, it's a whole new crowd, it's a whole new vibe and it matches your you so much better than your current energy. Some of you guys have been feeling this nudge, this urge to move. I don't know if it's moving your home. I don't know if it's moving to a different job. I don't, you're supposed to be moving. It could be a, a different location, right? Maybe you've been having some weird experiences at the restaurant you frequent, but somebody else serves this dish across town. So maybe we go see if their dish tastes decent and the service is a little better. There's something about moving and meeting the people you're supposed to be meeting. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune right now, which is all about divine timing, fated meetings, um, meet cutes in this lifetime for you. Like you got places to be and people to meet, right? So this move, there's also something about how freeing this move is and um, like just the things around you cannot distract you. There's, there's going to be things that come up that, hey, stay, right? Maybe it's people. Maybe it's um, just the fact that you know where everything is. Um, you don't have to learn a new town or people or whatever. But, like, that's the whole fucking point of the move. <laughs> because where you are, I was just about to say, I feel like sometimes people forget it's not just spirits that are around. The land itself has energy, okay? Um, <laughs> the soil itself has good juju, right? And when you're at one place for too long, you start to tap the soil. And then it has to go through the purification process, which in a forest, it looks like a horrible forest fire. Everything's just... Phew, but um, it eventually, those ashes go into the soil and refertilize it. And the next generation that's born from that, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be greener. It's going to be brighter. There's going to be more wildlife living there, calling that place home. It's Phoenix energy, Phoenix rising from the ashes. So, sorry, I got a notification on my phone. <laughs> it kind of distracted me. Uh, luckily, I said what I needed to say, though. But there's something about all this newness that's trying to be born now. Our purification process doesn't take as long as the example I used. Yeah, there's something about this ebb and flow of one door closing another opening, almost as if it's a revolving door. So that's telling me that it's like instant, instant. The moment you move, 
It's somebody helping you move in that says, hi, how are you, right? New to the neighborhood, welcome. Um, oh my gosh, community. As soon as I, <laughs> thank you spirit for that confirmation. Anyways, I haven't actually pulled any cards yet. We're like five minutes in and I'm just pure channeling. Let's, um, current energy is the star, yeah. So that to me is a, you're healed, but this is also, you are powerful, okay? Um, that soil needs its chance to heal. You need your new fresh start. Star energy is like, when you walk in a room, everyone notices. And it's not that you're doing anything to stand out. It's not that you made an entrance, you know what I mean? It You just are energetically attractive people notice your presence and it's again it's nothing that you're doing you didn't wear so much perfume that they smell you when you get there like it, it's it's not like that it's um it's natural it's organic right and that's the star it's also extremely powerful think of in this deck they only talk about so many planets that like have their own card the sun the moon and the star. I mean, we do also have the world card. Let's not forget that. But the f what's incoming? Zero. A clean slate. Something you haven't. This is a brand new notebook. You haven't even looked at what the lines look like. Like you just you. Mm. No ink has touched the parchment yet. This is a fresh canvas. This is a, a, a brand new uh, Windows. I don't know if you're using which, which one you're using um, to write your book, but you got your coffee and you got your keyboard and you got your screen and you're ready to tell your story. You're ready to make your music you're ready to ooh, some of you it's act okay hold on there is somebody here about the music thing this is talking about the studio you already wrote your music down you're just waiting to be brave enough to put yourself out there and believe me i know how hard it can be to have a talent you want to share with the world but it, it's world's a big place man no pressure right <laughs> But with the star and the fool, like you are feeling so connected right back to what's meant for you. See, that's what it is that's drawing people's attention. You are very much in alignment. Um, and then this newness coming in. Yeah. You guys, what's in the foundation? This is Aquarius and Aries energy. What's in the foundation, please, for Libra? <laughs> the full coming in also makes me think, um, you know how you feel stupid that you didn't do something sooner because it goes so good and you're like, I was really my biggest bully, man. <laughs> I should have done this so much sooner. Some of you guys, I do, I, I get that way. I'm like, that was dumb. Why, why did I take so long to do that? that? Was not as scary as I thought or as difficult as I thought or, you know? And then um, other times it's just so mind blowing, right? You're like, that's it? It's that simple? Like, <laughs> what? No, what's, what's the gig? What's the, there is none. Star, this is destiny, this is fate was meant for you. This is your birthright. This is your Akashic Records. The star is... <sighs> Nothing's going to distract you. Zero. You, you won't be the fool this time um, because you've really outgrown that. Like, this is an out-of-body experience. Oh, for some of you, this is an out-of-body experience. I'm telling you, you feel so drawn to do something that absolutely nothing around you can confirm this, but you still know, you just know. And if anything, this reading is, is going to be that confirmation, right? But still without it, 
you've been feeling some kind of inkling that I need to do this. I'm still going for, I don't even know if I need a foundation. <laughs> 10 minutes. Well, it took me five minutes to even start shuffling. Five minutes later, I only managed to get two cards out. I, I kind of feel like this one's beyond the cards, right? Sometimes they are. Yeah, go independent. I'm, I will. I will. I feel like I have everything I need. Oh my gosh. Just a few days ago. Sorry. <laughs> Just a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about flamingos and their pink. So, yes. Hi, doodles. Oh, my goodness. He's been very talkative in your reading. He doesn't do that. The other cats will come in and doodles, not so much. So, this is a very unique experience, Libra. Anyways, um, so when flamingos get sick, they lose their pink or when a flamingo gives birth she loses all her pink okay this poor flamingo mommy um looks albino because you really can't see any color so she actually looks very pale very white and um as she heals as she recovers you can tell because she'll regain her pink look at the full pink Look, she's even like, hey, she's, she's doing a pose. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Sometimes you are the only support system that you have and you want to call customer service. <laughs> like, but um, that's okay. I feel like you did struggle a lot with yourself to get yourself to where you are. I do feel like you're kind of the lone ranger, the lone wolf, black sheep, uh, never really fit in because you're supposed to stand out. My guy, you're supposed to stand out. You were never supposed to fit in. That's why you didn't, because you don't. How are you supposed to help everybody if, if you don't stand out a little bit, if they can't find you when they need you? right this is total star seed energy by the way like this is you are in this world but not of it type of energy for sure actually in the world but not of it i think that's this one um star seed oracle by rebecca campbell first deck i ever purchased was her work your light oracle card and this is her second deck. I do have her third deck as well, but she just came out with another deck. I saw it on some shopping app I have on my phone. I think it was Shein, but um, I think it's Rose Waters is the title of it. If anybody's got it, and connected with it, used it, let me know. All of her decks kind of have the same feel, but you can totally feel like the growth in them. Does that make sense? I feel her inner child in the decks. So her first deck being my first deck, how fitting, I had no idea when I purchased it that that was her first, like I didn't understand the depth until later on. Anyways, um. I could feel the inner child and mine was like, let's play together. Let's dance, let's hang out. You know, this is our playground. Matter of fact, let's ask mom and dad if they can build it and we did and it was fun. Anyways, that was the second deck was a little bit more grown up now, right? And then the third deck was almost like getting towards that preteen. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how this fourth deck feels, let me know. Long story short. No, that was long story long. Whale and Orca elders, listen. Confirmation. Share your song. Frequency of sound. Your vibration, your frequency, your hurts. Your hurts, your hearts, your hurts. Hmm. Hmm. Diving deep. Oh, it matches my nails. Look at there. I went from blue to green, you guys. Yes. At the bottom of the deck is weight of the world, boundaries, 
Let it go, it's not yours to carry. Is somebody here? I don't think that's what it is. I think he just wants to go outside. It's a scorcher, so he's just gotta give me a minute. I wanna make sure I can um, open the door to let him back in, because I know he won't wanna be out there for long. And these readings have been taking a minute, so. See that spy? That was a fly. Pisces. Some of you have a Pisces that's spying on you. I don't think I've, I've ever pulled from this deck with you guys. Dignified strength. Oh, that's so interesting. Lucky number 13. 13 is death. In the major arcana. I'm telling you. See, I don't even need the cards. And I feel like I already said it too. You know? Like that pull that you can feel. I think that's your future self. Some of you don't realize what you're capable of. Um, some of you, and I did this as a teenager, and I, I thought I was losing my mind. Um, I really did. But um, it really happened. I was trying to talk to my higher self, and I was aware of the fact that I might not have, a, or I'm sorry, future self. Um, and I was aware that I might not have a future self because like weird things happen and I, I had this feeling that I wasn't going to make it to my 30s. Um, <laughs> I had my spiritual death at the end of my 20s. <laughs> so that's what that was about. But I did communicate with my future self and I think you did too. Some of you guys are doing that now where you're trying to communicate with your future self. Something happened. Some of you, this happens in a dream. I don't usually give my dreams too much heat because it's usually mundane things unless I'm in some other planet. Usually I'm in some other fucking realm fighting some kind of battle and it's just, and then people wonder why I love stuff like Lord of the Rings and, and because you should see my dreams. World War Z, like, yeah, that's, that's the type of shit I dream about. So obviously I just try to put that out of my mind, but this, and I feel like for you too, it's going to be something that's different, stands out because the energy, the feeling that you have in this dream is so overwhelming. And I feel like it's your dream because your, your future self, your higher self, your subconscious are all trying to tell you what's going to happen. Anyways, um, it's so overwhelming. You're going to notice all these distractions, but like you are so not bothered. You couldn't be any less bothered. It's not distracting enough. For me, I had, um, I was trying to pack everybody in the vehicle and we were going to leave. Me and the, the children were all going to leave. And there was an ex that showed up um, talking about he wants to work on things. He wants to try again. You know, the spiel. But he has a girl with him and she's like on his arm it kind of looked like an attachment except i actually know this girl so i'm like oh okay that's awkward um clearly you can't work on this so what the fuck is happening it was really really awkward and as much as i was thinking i should feel some kind of weird confused way i didn't feel anything about it like i was so Chester said it, numb, I couldn't feel anything. I was so focused on packing my car that like I was hearing him and I was seeing her be really upset about this. And I'm just like, I got time for this. I, I had no time, I had no energy, I had no nothing except for like, I mean, come on. I was so honed in on this and I feel like you're going to, it's gonna start as an inkling, right? But it's gonna grow and grow and grow and grow. And it's gonna get so deep, so deep, that no matter how hard you try to say surface level with this, 
you're going to go. Like you, you can't fight this. This is, this is your soul. This is your soul. This is your pet. I remember soul plan, the faded life versus the destined life. I am telling you, all I had to do was pick this card up and show you one more time about letting it go. <clears throat> some of you, it's these boundaries. You, Some of you may have put too many boundaries on yourself and it's time to set yourself free. You are the key. Let yourself out. Okay, some of you have really been battling depression. So numb means something different to you. What you're looking for is to be able to feel again. Your light is so bright you inspire yourself and it's been too long since you've been able to inspire yourself and you're feeling disconnected because of it. That's the rebirth process. That's part of the death part of the rebirth. That light's gonna come back on. It's going from zero to a hundred thousand like Okay, hold on, pick up, there we go. It's literally going from zero to lighting up the entire sky alone. Just you. That's like North Star energy. I remember, you remember, you might be having dreams, you might be having moments where you're just washing your hands, doing the dishes, running a bath, Playing in the water, though, and uh, let me tell you what, the first time I actually got um, a meditation to show me something, to actually see something in a meditation, to clearly something is, is you know, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> but I was playing in the water. Um, I wasn't actually going to pull from that deck. I do want to pull from this just to close, though. <clears throat> I'm telling you, the new, <sighs> I want you to be you. I don't give a fuck what your haters have to say about it. Be you. Be you so proud, so unapologetically. Be you. I did not just channel that. Um, so there was this song, Love Me or Hate Me, It's Still an Obsession. Love Me or Hate Me, That Is the Question. If you love me, then thank you. If you hate me, then fuck you. <laughs> I cannot believe I just channeled that. Yo, it's been over 10 years since I've heard that. Maybe more like 15. It's been a minute. Wow. Wow, some of you guys haven't felt this alive since you were a teenager. I feel like some of you had energy literally trapped. Other people somehow actually managed to like trap. They refused to let go. You ever see those cord cutting rituals with the um, candles and the um, twine? It's like when you've got the client that's trying to release the bond, the tie, and then the person that is holding on to them will not let go of that um, twine, man. They just, they keep that string on them. Oh my God, it's always ends so bad, but like, it's almost like the one where um, you can't burn the candle all the way down because it just refuses to go out or the um, twine doesn't completely burn up. It stays with that person that just won't, <sighs> refuses to grow from the situation is essentially what's happening. But um, yeah, some of you really, 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 truly without this rebirth process, without this purification process, 
you never would have got that energy back from those people because they would have refused to give it to you. But I feel like you've cl you've called it back so many times. I feel like there's something happening. The divine stepping in here. I just heard touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. Oh, I know who the fuck's stepping in. I think you do too. A star is to be born. So it shall be, man. Touch not my anointed. <sighs> Sounds like me. Do it one more fucking time. Watch what happens. One more time. Just one more time. Please make my fucking day one more time. Watch what happens. <laughs> oh boy. That's the feeling I'm getting though. No weapon forged against us shall prosper. Period. On God. Literally. And not Holly Weird's God. No. Forgiveness. Ho'oponopono. That is one of the absolute most powerful prayers. Ho'oponopono. Um, it's a Hawaiian prayer. I don't, oh, it's been so long. I don't want to say it right now because I'm not going to get it in order. So let me look it up and then I will put it in the comments. That way I don't, I'm not going to be disrespectful by saying it wrong. I, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, um, it's the first thing I thought of. I forgive you is a part of it. Oh, please forgive me. Like I said, I'm not going to, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Someone is really disappointed and they just refuse to let go of the memory. Doodles. <laughs> His face through all the bamboo just like a jungle cat natural organic he wants to be outside he wants to play in the grass and chase the grasshoppers it's the circle of life and it rules us all but i ain't gonna sing no more disney because i actually looked up that song that zazu sings I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There they are standing in the road. And if you look up the song, I feel like I shouldn't even be saying this. If you look up that song, it's actually, it's singing about the Holocaust. It's really, really, really not good. And it's really fucked up how they incorporated it how they incorporate it literally everything about how they incorporated it he oh my god i can't i can't i can't forgiveness this is reminding me of another dream i had where i died on a battlefield it was a war i was actually a nurse um but the other side found out about our um um uh, like we had hospital tents set up and we were trying to treat our wounded and stuff like that. And anyways, um, they, they came and they just blew us all up. <laughs> um, and in my first meditation that actually worked where I had a real vision, um, I was taken to this place and they said the scars that were left on this place have tainted the soil we need someone that was here to cleanse this place from the memories and I did it, it was my spirit guide that took me there I'm not going to tell you what my spirit guide looked like because that was weird but when you see yours just trust that whatever you're seeing is your spirit guide okay 
you'll you'll feel the connection you'll feel right Th this is the feeling you'll get <laughs> when they're showing you around it says uh, speak the language of love loving words have the power to change lives including your own but um, forgiving the past for some of you it's going to look like forgiving a past life or forgiving something that you became unaware of some way somehow you became unaware of it this isn't something you just didn't know at all because at one point in time you did know about this honesty is essential speak with love and truth 29 35 38 it just keeps growing i was talking about her decks growing i was talking to, oh my goodness it just keeps growing i feel like that's you and your energy um you keep moving forward in your path especially 38 being an 11 which we all know is doorways new beginnings we were talking about that revolving door earlier i feel like this 888 portal right everybody talks about 88 portal lion's gate but this year and I've been seeing it for a couple years now I can't wait to see what it looks like <laughs> because oh it's gonna not just be the 88 this year it's gonna be a triple eight and it's powerful it's so oh my goodness course we also have to protect it because the other side knows it's powerful and they try to use it too with their fucking starting machine but I'm gonna just <clears throat> try to mind my business on that I'm gonna leave this here again the only cards because I didn't pull that many Aquarius and Aries could be something in those houses ninth house even uh, Libra is seventh house but you could have it somewhere else too because you might be rising you might have it um, in three different placements that are none of the big three but it's definitely still going to impact you right so however this drew you you really were drawn to it but i hope this helps i hope this helps 32 32 and now it's just climbing well wow. Hi, Remnar. I am going to leave it here. Oh, my goodness. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful. Are you good? Where's the... Oh.